hi everyone okay let's provide the solution to this because 10 okay normally the one with the highest power should appear first or the one with the higher power so we have x to the power of 3 to appear first plus x equals 10 and then the next thing is to bring this to the left as we have x cubed plus x minus 10 equals 0 and then let's break this 10 to appear in this form x cubed plus x minus 10 can be 8 plus 2 and that is equal to 0 then if I go ahead we have x to the power of 3 plus x minus open bracket 2 to the power of 3 minus 2 right okay it's still plus 2 because I have not opened the bracket this is equal to 0 now let us open the bracket as we have x to the power of 3 plus x minus 2 to the power of 3 minus 2 equals 0 because the bracket the negative will open the bracket now let us regroup this is coming over to this and then we now have x to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 then plus x then we have minus 2 equals 0 what if i group this like this and deal with them here we now have difference of two cubes imagine you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 this is a minus b into a squared right a squared minus a b plus b squared okay so this is what we we have and then to proceed from here we are going to express this in this form so our a minus b will now be x minus 2 into a squared which is x squared minus a b that will be x times 2 and it's 2x then plus b squared which will be 2 squared and it is 4 right then we have this plus x minus 2 right then we equate to 0 now to continue from here we're going to have x minus 2 as our factor and then here because we have x minus 2 here and it's over there so here now we're going to have x squared minus 2x plus 4 then plus 1 because x minus 2 divided by x minus 2 is 1 we close and equate to 0 right now x minus 2 is still the factor then here we are having x squared minus 2x plus 5 that is 4 plus 1 then we equate to 0 so to proceed it is now x minus 2 to be 0 or what we have here to be 0 so I'm coming back to pick this from here now x will be 0 plus 2 and then x is now equal to 2 so this is one of the solutions like I said I will pick this again and equate it to 0 so we have x squared minus 2x plus 5 to be equal to 0 and like we always do we use our quadratic formula for this and the formula is x equals minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2 times a and then our a is 1 our b is minus 2 and then our c is positive 5 so the next thing is to put this into the formula so let's go there okay so our x will now be minus minus 2 
plus or minus we have minus 2 squared minus 4 times a times 5 a is 1 c is 5 then we divide by 2 times 1 okay so from here our x will now be negative negative is positive plus or minus then we have plus or minus oh i already have that plus or minus we have the square root of minus 2 squared that is 4 then minus 4 times 1 times 5 is 20 divide by 2 times 1 which is 2 now our x is 2 plus or minus the square root of negative 16 divide, divided by 2 okay so from here we have our x to be 2 plus or minus square root of 16 oh i didn't write the negative right so i have to multiply this by negative 1 then i'll divide by 2 now we can find the square root of 16 okay so that our x will now be 2 plus or minus the square root of 16 that will be 4 multiply by the square root of negative 1 which is i then we divide by 2 okay and um, 2 can go into 2 so that x will now be um, 1 plus or minus 2 into 4 is 2 then multiply by i this is a 2 in 1 solution so that our x will now be 1 plus 2i or 1 minus 2i okay so if we continue from here now we now have that um okay let's get the three solutions remember we got um one solution before now okay our first solution is x equals 2 right then from here we have two more x equals 1 plus 2i and then we have x again to be equal to 1 minus 2i so these right here are the three solutions okay the first one can be your x1 the second one can be your x2 and the third one can be your x3 thank you for watching and um, if you have not subscribed to my channel subscribe so you can get more of my videos and also do well to share to your friends and to the students around you